Hello and thanks for joining me. In today's video we are going to take a look at another one of the locks from John Doe's 12 Stations of Pain. Now John sent me a package recently. In that package were 12 locks that are not easy locks by any means uh, but also he sent me a list of times that I get to pick each of those locks. There's a bit of a challenge for me. If you want to see the unboxing video of that I'll leave a little link to it just at the top of the screen there. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll dive into the box today and see what lock we can get open. This is the Rav Bariac LX. Now I only get that information uh, from the sheet that Hoser has given me. So it's the RB Rav Bariac LX. He says his only recorded time on this was 6 minutes 38 and that was the first time uh, that he picked a pin in pin. Now he's given me 3 minutes to pick this lock. So let's have a quick look and see what we're up against. This is pretty much a multi-lock interactive as far as I know. Uh, so it's a dimple lock and it's also a pin in pin. If I grab a pick I can show you that. So we've got a really, really sort of wide pin there and you can see an inner pin inside. Uh, so the outer pin and the inner pin need to be picked. Uh, but as I said, it's like a multi-lock interactive and that's because of this part here on the key, um, which kind of moves, you can just see it moving up and down there. Now it's nothing to be intimidated uh, about. All it means is that that pin, which is, uh, that'll be the second pin, just needs to be lifted uh, a little bit higher than usual to get it set. But it is of course a pin in pin as are the other uh, pins down the back. So I think what we'll do is we're going to get him into the vice and let's see if we can beat that time of, uh, where was it? Uh, yeah, three minutes. Let's see if we can get him picked. So I've got him all secured in the vise. There's the key and we're just going to check that the key is working. It's a little bit stiff in there, but yeah, there you go. Seems to be working fine. Let's pop my tensioner in the right hand side there. Um, just a little bit. No, I've got it the wrong way around. I'll use the thinner edge of the tensioner and then I can reach into the lock with my dimple flag. I'm going to use some fairly heavy tension to start out picking this lock. And what I'm doing is just feeling down with my flag for binders and I'm being careful just to pick the outer pins. I don't want to touch those inner pins just yet. You can tell when it's time to touch the inner pins because you'll drop into a full set um, and then I'll probably reach for a different pick and try and uh, set those inner pins. Luckily in this keyway there is a lot of room to get your pick in and out. There's no warding to worry about at all. Just feeling back and forth here, um, still feeling for binders. We've not dropped into a full set yet. Not really feeling anything here. I might reach for a different pick, sometimes reaching for a different profile, whether it's a dimple lock or a pin tumbler, uh, can just help push those pins over the line. This one here is a custom pick that Nigby made for me and I love using it on pin and pins, especially when we do get to using it on those inner pins when we've got our full set. And I just got a tiny turn of the core there and a little bit more. So I think we are on those inner pins now. When picking the inner pins, you want very small movements and very precise placement uh, with a picking tip. And there we go, we got the open. And the Rav Bariac LX is down. Now, uh, I did get three minutes on this rather generously from John. I think when I look on the video and count it back, I managed to get this one open in one minute and 40 seconds, which I think is pretty respectable for a well-made lock like this with pin in pin and that interactive element. Uh, as I said, there's not much too much to worry about that interactive element. You just got to remember to lift that pin uh, higher than the rest and you should get it open yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching on that. I'm going to carry on picking through the 12 stations of pain. I'll leave a little DMAC logo up there. If you hit that, you get to subscribe and then you won't miss uh, the next video that I do in the series. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you on the next one.